वेलकम टू इंटर्स ऑफ इंस्टीट्यूट लैपटॉप टुडे वी विल डिस्कस टॉपिक थ्री दैट इज़ अ मॉड्यूल थ्री एल थ्री लैपटॉप चिप लेवल ट्रेनिंग इन दैट वी विल सी टुडे चैप्टर थ्री सम पोर्शंस एज इट इज़ अ डेमो वी विल गो ऑन द चैप्टर थ्री बेसिक वर्क इन डिटेल ऑफ मदरबोर्ड पावर स्टेज पावर स्टेज मीन्स हाउ मैनी टाइप ऑफ पावर्स आर देर इन द लैपटॉप मदरबोर्ड In these portions, we will directly go to some pages. Okay, it is a demo class, so we will only show the powers. Laptop board have a different power stage. Mechanical off means when we doesn't connect any adapter or battery. Not connected. Only internal CMOS battery are connected. It says as a mechanical off. No power section. One is a mechanical off. only internal cmos battery is connected and cmos battery is giving a power to rtc second stage is power off means soft off uh, when we connect adapter or battery but doesn't press the power on or switch means it is an power off soft off before pressing power on button the stage where we have connected adapter or battery then that is an power off stage okay power off stage another one stage is standby stage means be, uh, before power on the first stage is standby so power off stage standby after pressing on on off switch first standby voltage will be on then it will go to the power on mode so, and when we are on the power on mode and if we go to standby or like that then the standby voltage will be getting a power the so power off from power off first it will go to the standby mode power then it will go to the power on mode power power on means all the devices will getting the power lcd will keyboard and all those are the running power and one more stage is there in the laptop one more stage that is an hibernate mode hibernate means as a shutdown but before going to the shutdown the laptop he will store all the data what we are using is stored in the hard disk so for that the new options are coming hibernate okay one more mode sleep mode is also coming sleep mode standby both are the press when we press the power on to start and some device required when they give the power when required the power some device means like the camera wifi bluetooth this device will get the power when we are enabling that device there is a different four or five devices are there you remember the word mechanical off power off standby power on mode hibernate mode sleep mode and when required mode we will see next chapter how the motherboard start before adapter or battery connecting power CMOS battery will give power to the RTC crystal and some portions of the soft bridge. Then we will connect the adapter or battery win or power RCC depend on the motherboard the signal name is different win or power RCC voltage generate from the adapter or battery. Primary always always an auxiliary power generated from the main power this is a main power and from main power it will uh, or start running always an auxiliary power or s5 power after that he will start when we press the power button standby voltage generate from the main voltage after standby voltage the remain running voltage start after running voltage cpu vrm means secondary voltage then vrm section will be start after vrm clock generator will get the enable signals from the vrm ic's of all the power is okay then the power good signal to south bridge then the south bridge supply the pcip reset to the north bridge another chip then the north bridge send a cpu reset h hr reset depend on the motherboard the cpu signals are there and after reset bios will read the device and the bios after all the complete nbr master boot record will be clear So these are how the motherboard start the basic concepts are there next chapter we will go different stage power identify in a mechanical of some motherboard will say 3.3 watt rtc will be there it supply through the cmos battery 
one power off stage means we have connected the adapter or battery then the supply will be 3 watt PCU or 3 watt always or 3 watt S5 3 watt auxiliary depend on the motherboard manufacturer the name will be different PCU always uh, auxiliary power PCU always always power may like that 1.8 or some more power will be there in the different motherboards depend on the motherboard standby stage also same SUS or S3 depend there will be more more power also 15 watt like that on stage will be 3 watt 5 watt these are the normal 2.5 CPU core VCC core RAM like that different powers will be there then the hibernate will be as a power of stage hibernate stage is also as a hibernate is a power of stage when required suppose we enable the camera then this supply will be on when we enable the Wi-Fi the supply will be on like these supplies are the stage we will see further detail this is a block diagram of motherboard power on a stage and different power so what is the different mechanical of mechanical of stage is 3 outside laptop no power connected only internal CMOS battery connected laptop CMOS battery give the power RTC real time clock crystal BIOS sorry BIOS it will not give south bridge some portions getting power RTC CMOS is connected the supply will be like 3.3 watt RTC or CMOS or some different device name will be there one is a power of standby stage that is S5 G2 PCU S5 always battery or adapter connected to laptop but not power on adapter signal win power SRC win means uh, if you are go compile contact the name will be different PCU and this is always power PCU S5 win these are the main power and this is your PCU S5 like that supply will be on it gives supplies to on off switch on off switch RTC BIOS CMOS battery power IC discharge section IO power LAN south bridge all these ICs it will give the supply adapter wind power SRC then one suspend mode when we power on the button first the suspend mode will be sustained power will be on sustained power will be SUS S3 it will go again to on off switch USB LAN C RAM also getting a power north bridge type these all these will be on but other than this these will be also on the supply will be like that 3 watt SUS S3 return 5 watt SUS or 5 watt S3 2.5 1.8 and some more power will be there on stage means when we totally power on then these will become here in an on on stage there is a three powers will be on always also on suspend also on and on itself three all the powers LCD and all are working CPU VRM like that it gives the supply PCU also it's enable the SUS also it's enable the main three different powers will be on on a stage hibernate state is as a, a working as a shutdown that is a power of and hibernate are the same but when we press hibernate it will close all the program it will save in a hard disk as an image file and it will shut down after hibernate if we remove the hard disk uh, if we remove the battery or adapter then the data is also there as it is stored in the hard disk when we start the laptop it will resume the windows resume the data from the hard disk to the RAM as it is position and start from there only so hibernate is a good option and some devices are like that when required when enabled particular device its power will on 5 watt camera 5 watt Wi-Fi like this so these are the different power ICs power regulator section in i3 i5 more power are there but instead of that it will return as a 3 watt SUS 3 watt S3 we can assume this power is for the suspend mode if it is written 5 watt PCU means it is always on power if it is written 5 watt 3 watt like that SUS main so we can make a judgment which power is generated at which section through this the power different power 5 watt if we use 5 watt USB different 5 watt camera different 5 watt SUS different 5 watt PCU different 5 watt main different 
all are the 5 watts so there is a different switching section and regulator section which generate this power from wind or power src or adapter in like this voltage are there from the main voltage okay thank you this is your demo class of the power sequence thing